Today I'm going to take you for a tour of Mars. Now in my experience any video claiming to show you anything strange on Mars is best approached with a large cup of tea and a pinch of salt. Nevertheless this is a rehash of a, a video I did a while ago and I'm not going to apologise for that. The reason I'm doing it is that a number of people claim they couldn't see what I see. Well, this time I'm going to rub it in. And this video is all about NASA Mars photos. There's links actually on the screen. Now you can pause the video, you can copy the links, you can look at the photos yourself. Along the way I'm going to show you examples of some of the things that I think these photos look like. Notice I'm not saying they are these things. Now some of these things are tsunami debris and that is not surprising since in the area that NASA was exploring when these photos were taken it is thought that a large sea once washed over on its way out of another sea. So it's kind of a tsunami area. And the first slide is a mysterious object and it consists of sort of folded air layers looking like cloth, paper or maybe thin aluminium. There's a couple of other things in there as well which I'll show you. Well here's the picture and this is the small area which I've blown up and you've got what looks kind of a can or like a can or um, maybe some sort of piston you've got some other kind of organic type cast shape here and here's the sort of foil like or aluminium like object and there's another one here as you can see they're partly buried in the sand. Now I think it kind of looks like this and what I've done is I've taken a photograph that is definitely of earthly origin and I've turned it into black and white I've defocused it a bit to match as near as I can this image just so that you can see the comparison more easily. And if I show you the original image, here's the original image, it's a black and white of it obviously, and it is Japanese tsunami debris. Okay. Now if we go back again, I think you can start to see some of the similarities here. The next slide is a complex curved object consisting of many s repeated similar parts and it looks organic or maybe it's a casting. And there's what it actually looks like on the photograph. This is what it looks like when you blow it up. Hmm. So it sort of looks like partially buried bones. I'm not saying that's what it is, but it kind of looks that way. And for our next object, we have a long strip of metal, or possibly a girder, that has a regular pattern of round lightning holes. And it looks like an aerospace part to me. Now this one's actually quite difficult to see, but once you see it, it is a bit of a giveaway. Um, there's the unblown up part and here is the blown up section and if you can see this line continues underneath this sand and you've got like a rectangular part with maybe curved ends and it's got holes in it every so often and this down here it seems to have a bit of a curve to the end and it does remind me of things I used to see in the aerospace industry.
looks like an aircraft part. To be specific, it looks like a fuselage spar or maybe a uh, wing rib. Half buried. And our next slide is a strangely hollow, thin walled rectangular boulder box, who knows? And the eroded section of which is filled with sand, as it would be if it was in a tsunami or something similar. And here's what we see in the distance. And when we blow it up, we see our eroded box shape and it's filled with sand and there seem to be others in a row but it's difficult to see because there's a limit to how much I can blow things up without losing detail if someone's got better software they're perfectly welcome to try it and once again it kind of looks like tsunami debris I mean you look at some of the things on here some of the features on this photograph um, this again is the Japanese tsunami and you can see there's these pieces they've been twisted they're still recognizably a rectangular shape and you can imagine what half a million or a million years worth of erosion would do to this debris it would start to look like that And we get into things that are perhaps more of a giveaway. This is a wrecked assembly of some sort. And if we have a look, you can see there's some sheet metal parts down here. More sheet metal there. In fact, that's possibly the same piece that continues along. Uh, another piece of sheet metal. And we have some what look like cast pieces scattered amongst the debris that looks a bit like an elbow difficult to tell and that's the area that we're we're looking at however if I now compare it with something else this once again is a photograph that I've turned to black and white I've defocused it and um, I've treated it roughly the same way that I, I treated the Mars photo and you can kind of see there's little bits of sheet metal all over the place there's odds and ends of bent tube there's irregular shaped bits and pieces you look at that and it does kind of look like that and what that is What that is, is an aircraft crash recovery scene where they've had to actually excavate the aircraft after it's ploughed into the ground. Now I'm not suggesting that what we're seeing is an aircraft crash recovery scene, but it does look like shattered machinery. And now we have more sheet metal parts with rectangular and round holes that are crumpled and partly buried. And here is this piece you can see it there you can see it's got holes in it you can see some of them around some of them rectangular it's a very bad nick but if you were a million years old so would you be and there's the actual piece on the ground and it's even more obvious actually in the unmagnified version that you've got some square areas with holes in um, and what this looks like to me well this is actually a World War II aircraft instrument panel that was excavated from a field it's from a P-51 Mustang but you can see it's bent and twisted like this is so this to me looks like it could be an instrument panel and maybe some of these other pieces around here which are also peculiar shapes are parts of it and this is one of those photographs the more you look the more you see and the thing about tsunami debris is it does all tend to be flattened out like this and once something gets on top of them like mud and sand and all the rest of it 
it tends to be compressed and flattened. Here we've got another crushed assembly and I could not for the life of me tell you what this is. You can see we've got a top plate. Or it might even be a book of some sort. I mean with the top cover, a clasp, you think of a medieval book, the pages. Who knows? But it's a very strange object. There's nothing like it in any of the other photographs. Nothing at all. You can see you've got some sort of triangular raised embossed component on the front of it. You've got another piece that looks like it might be a lock or might be a larger plate with some regular holes in. It's very mysterious anyway. Now, this is a similar piece from another photograph. Um, if we look at this area, it's got all sorts of strange things in there. Um, to start with, you've got this sort of metallic, sort of strange three-dimensional shape here. You've got this darker component here, which seems to have some sort of hook sticking off the top of it. And these are the sort of metal hooks that you see on agricultural equipment quite a lot. Then if we go over here, you can see we have what looks for all the world like some sort of squashed up piece of metal plate, um, like a headlamp cowl almost. We've got another metallic looking, very oddly shaped piece that's obviously had the heck bent out of it there. And once again this is another photograph, the more you look the more you see. And there are too many of these photographs on these URLs which is mars.jpl.nasa.gov and get the raw images MSL raw images, and then you get the government. You get the ones that haven't been processed by, by the government, and the, you can guarantee that they're like fresh from the camera. So that's my quick look at Mars. Um, seems to be an awful lot of things that need explanation, and it may be that until we actually get a human team up there that we're not going to find out much more. Um, I don't necessarily think that NASA are suppressing information on Mars. I do think that they have a very blinkered mindset. There are things they don't wish to know. Things they don't wish to find. They're perfectly willing to find little tiny bacteria and bits of algae swimming around on the rocks, but what they don't want to find is evidence of a million year old civilization that has been squashed and destroyed in a huge cataclysm. And nearly, I'm well, not going to say nearly every picture, about one in ten pictures that you look at that have been taken by the landers on Mars seem to show evidence of things that really shouldn't be there. Anyhow, if you like this video and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.